Hi, welcome back. I'm going to start this new video series that you are probably going to love because I'm just having so much fun doing it and sharing it was the greatest thing for me to be able to do because um, it's reinforcing my commitment to keeping the project going. So I'm starting this photo series. I'm probably going to create a playlist. So if you're watching this first video and it's dated, um, you know, several months from now, um, then you may want to go look at my channel and click on playlists. And I'm going to start adding all the videos in this series to one playlist so you can watch those videos consecutively. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do in order to organize all of your print photos is gather them all together in one space. So I've got some examples of how things have been collected in my house. I have several of these envelopes, you know, the kind that you've ordered and they've never been put into albums. You open them up and hopefully you still have the negatives inside and the front sleeve and then your prints. Um, I found many, many of these. In fact, there were so many that I had several in these sort of photo boxes. Yeah, boxes full. And um, many of them were not dated. I didn't have negatives in the same thing because at one point I tried to consolidate all my negatives together in case there were some kind of reason why I would need to grab those originals and leave the house quickly. I wanted to be able to just grab my negatives, which we're still going to do, but if you've ever separated your negatives from your prints, we're going to work on that as well to try to get everything chronological again. Then. Um, oh my goodness, like this is a whole box of memorabilia. I've got ticket stubs in here. Um, I don't know, a lanyard from oh, a conference I went to. Um, old business cards of mine, you know. I, I just kind of kept things. Um, things that my um, kids gave to me. Look at this old pager. This belonged to my daughter, and um, she saved her money and got it herself because I refused to buy a pager when she was like in seventh grade. And so, look at this little thing, it's so tiny. Yeah, um, so I saved that because she worked hard for it. Um, you know, I've just got greeting cards, everything is in this book. So, um, we're also going to be working on that, but this is more focused on photos. Then, I've got these little mini albums that are so chunky, I thought they'd be great to use to save space on shelves and kind of stack them up. But quite frankly, when you're looking at them, they don't open very flat. They just, look at that. That's flat and it still won't kind of spread. So, and, and there's only photos on one side. So yeah, not, not a good plan to use these little mini albums. Um, plus, I find that you can't really notate anything about the photos in here. You know, whoops, these were my, um, my mom's and dad's before I was married. And, um, you know, things like this. This is a painting. There's writing on the back that somebody had written about the oil painting in the photo. Um, and these just need to be better organized. Then, this belonged to, I think, my husband's ex-wife made this. These little fabric covered albums, this is a little cross stitch. And it's just, it's got pictures of, you know, their kids. But let me show you what the problem is here. These are those magnetic pages. Now, they're not magnetic in the sense that you and I would think they're magnetic. There are those kinds of pages with the glue in them. Let me show you. Here's a page from one of my books. This is called a magnetic page. And let me show you what happens. It's got a little clear protective sheet on it and then it's gluey. Yeah, can you hear that? Now what you do is you stick your photo on this and it's kind of gummy. And then when you lay this cellophane over it, it holds. For one thing, I don't think these are acid free not the best for preserving your prints. Another thing is to try to get your photos off of there once you've stuck them down can be a major dilemma. We're gonna discuss that too. So, 
get your photos out of these magnetic pages or they'll just be deteriorating as you're sleeping. And finally, we've got these scrapbook pages. This was my daughter's cheerleading team when she was really little. And this is the original photo. Yeah, there's only one. So she took it and she started to scrap it. That's not happening. I hate to tell her, she never finished the page. So hopefully she won't be mad at me. But if she wants to use it, we'll make a copy. Um, I'm gonna take this photo out and we're going to preserve it. So remember, gather all your originals. This is the first step. It doesn't matter where they are. Try to get them all in one room whatever system you can. For right now, just put them in boxes. We're going to sort them in the next step. So, go out and gather. Oh, and one more thing. What about this? <laughs> oh my. It's a photo collage of when my daughter was a little girl. I think these are originals in here because I don't think I have copies of these and these are missing from the original. Um, negatives that I have. So these are all coming out of this frame. This doesn't need to be on the wall anymore. What about this? Yeah! Remember this in the 80s? How you used to take like a wallpaper page and make a base out of cross stitch uh, fabric? Yeah, this has been in my basement so it's probably covered in dust. But you can see how I tried to preserve and archive movie tickets you know, bobby pins from my wedding day, things like that. I'm not hanging this on the wall anymore. It's not pretty. But the things in here I'm going to take out and we are going to preserve. So I hope you'll join me in this series. Um, I'm very, very excited. I can't wait to see where this road ends as far as you all and your communication with me because I like your feedback. I am going to try to go archival safe materials and we'll do our best to get everything organized, sorted, neat, and easy retrieval is the key. So follow me along on this organizing your photos journey. Talk to you soon. Bye.